Ah, I keep doing this. Ah, no, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do this. I thought I'm far away. Okay, there we go. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. One of my awesomest games ever, Banjo-Tooie. Where on this episode, we are going to be continuing our trek through Jolly Roger, Rogers... Jolly Rogers... Jolly Rogers Lagoons underwater section. Last time, we finished up some things in Glitter Gulch Mine that I forgot about last time, and this time we will be trying to find our way to the next part of the level. We have the sunken ship here, but I don't quite remember how to get out of here. I know that there is an area to escape to, or maybe not. Oh, maybe it's over here. No, there's nothing over here. So, I guess we're kind of stuck here after doing what we did last time, so let's go ahead and return to Atlantis. Because, well, Atlantis seems to be the hub of this world anyway, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, now to find out where we need to go next, I think we should go up here, because I don't think we... Actually, I think this is where we originally entered Atlantis, is it? Yeah, it looks familiar. Oh god. Alright, let's try going through here. I don't think we've gone through this hole yet. Yeah. Alrighty, what's up here? We got... Some area... This is actually the area I was looking for. That's good that I found it. Now, instead of... Oh, I hear the Globo. Globo in this level is always really hard to find, because it's just kind of... Oh, here it is! Oh, I found it. Good. Alright, so let's see. This actually isn't the area I was thinking of where when I said this is the area I was looking for. But it's okay. And we have Wombo's Wigwam here, so let's go in it anyway. Because we actually need it for a Jiggy. Hey, Wombo. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes. What are you doing at the bottom of the ocean? Sure, I'll just throw it in. It's a very good question. Humba's, or Wumba's wigwam is only like kind of, kind of half covered in water here, but it's submerged like probably hundreds of meters underneath the surface. So, eh. One would call this submarine. Use control stick to turn on spot and A for much speed. Press B for sonic ping attack or Z for missile. So Z fires missiles. No, I don't want to jump in. Uh, a is for speed, and B is a sonic ping. It honestly doesn't do anything, really. So, may as well just kind of not use it. Okay, so we only need the submarine for like one jiggy in this level, but it's still one jiggy, so let's go hunt for it. Um, if I can find it, where's the way out of here? Oh, I think this is the way I came, but whatever. Okay, so... Taking the speed down here. Oh, actually, there's a warp up here. I think that I should probably get. Just so I can come back here instead of having to find it myself. I think it's somewhere around the edge of the level. I'm not entirely sure where it is, actually. Let's try the surface. Um, come on, you gotta be around here somewhere. Zooey for that, I guess. It's over here. Oh, wait, how many warps do we have? We have the town center, the treasure ship. There's usually five warps in a level, is there not? Maybe there's only four in this level. Or maybe I just keep consistently missing one. I'm starting to think there isn't actually a. Uh, what's that? Probably just ice eggs. Oh well, I can't seem to find anything here, so let's just get out of here. Okay, let's go find where we can use this submarine. It's actually right at the bottom of the ocean, and these missiles home on stuff. Well, they were supposed to. I thought they did. Okay, let's see here. Let's shoot that. 
three at once. Cool. Uh, whoa. Got a. Okay, well, I guess we can't cross this. Oh, where is that stupid thing? Um. Okay, we have to find this entrance somewhere. Let's try down by the pirate ship again. Or the, uh... Well, let's not do the sunken ship. I'm sure I can find it. It'll be around here somewhere. Um, like I said, it's... Or I didn't really say, but... Getting lost is really easy underwater because there's so many paths that go everywhere. one hole that goes down to the set bottom of the ocean that I can never ever find. I think this is the way I came in. Yeah, it is. And of course, there's no warp around here to Wamba's Wigwam because we're right next to Atlantis. I guess. I'm going to have to go with that because I can't find anything around here. Alright, so let's just leave this area. I'm just wasting my time here. Uh, let's go to the other side of Atlantis and go down the hole there. I actually have been looking for the Seaweed Sanctum. I haven't found it yet. I think that's this area here. I hope not. Nope. Oh my god, yes it is. Can't believe I just found it. Well, that's annoying. Uh, we'll have to go in there later because... You know, actually I think we have to go in there now. Alright, well we have Wumba, we know where to find her. Let's go into the Seaweed Sanctum. Um, I'm gonna abandon my dream to be a submarine for now. Because I have other stuff to do. Rather than kind of waste my time being a submarine. Uh, let's enter. It's kind of underwater, I see that, so you can kind of dive in, but it's still kind of annoying. I'm not a big fan of the submarine just because of how it moves, but that's just me. The submarine is not my cup of soup. Or I guess my cup of seawater, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so let's go into the Seaweed Sanctum. I can't believe I finally found it. Like, I've been looking for it forever, and then suddenly you find it, and you're just like, Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I didn't say that I was looking for it before, because I didn't talk about that aloud, because I expected myself to find it. But then I completely forgot that it even existed, and then I found Wumba's Wigwam, and I thought, oh, let's go here first. But I forgot, you have to go through Seaweed Sanctum to get some stuff. First. Let's waste some ice eggs on nothing. Because eggs exist everywhere in this game. Alright, let's go ahead and explore into the Seaweed Sanctum, where there isn't actually any water. This guy will come to life, I think. Some of these guys come to life. I think there's a Jinjo inside the Seaweed Sanctum, so... We have that to look forward to, finding the Jinjo. Yeah, yeah. You be all seaweedy and attack me. I dare ya. Uh, climb the Seaweed Sanctum all the way to the top, and there's something special at the top for you. I know that Jinjo's around here somewhere. Oh, it's up there. I think it's a Jinjo. You better be a Jinjo. Okay, you're a Jinjo. Let's go visit that Jinjo. Oh, God. Okay, good. Alright, two out of three of the yellow Jinjos, so we almost got another Jinjo family done. Though, of course, that could be like the last Jinjo I collect in like the last level in the last world, so. What's up here? This is the sea bottom. This is exactly what I was looking for when I was in the submarine form, fortunately. Oh, I'm such a loser. Okay, so we have a warp over here. Hi-ya! There we go. 
with some teeth to break off this fish. I'm a terrible shot. Oh, it has five teeth. I only have four. There we go. We got it. So its mouth opens. Let's go swimming inside it. If you will do so kindly to swallow me, silly fish. I said swallow me. Swallow me whole. Hey! Okay, I'm just gonna circle around. There's actually something I need to do here. There's another one of these fish that you can see through. Unfortunately, the prizes that are inside them are kind of random, so it's impossible to tell what you're going to get until you actually see it, so... Where is it? I saw it! I know it exists here. You can't hide from me. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just eggs, anyway. Alright, well, screw it. Oh, that fish is making a turn. Maybe I can get it inside its mouth. Giggity. Come on. Oh, there we go. I managed to glitch inside the side of it somehow. So now we're inside the big fish. It's kind of gucky and yucky. But we got some things to kill in here. Hi! Same recycled sound from Banjo Tui. Uh, we have a left path and a right path. Taking the left path takes us to this bikini wearing frog. Oh, you must be rescue party. Only if the price is right. Well, I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was on one of Blubber's wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. Oh, that's lovely. I'll soon be happy hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, we'll see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. Alright, so, see Jolly. We'll have to do that when we go back to town and look at it. Her frantically dance away. So scared, so brave. Okay, so we had a Jinjo whistling at us. And actually, I'm going to stop. Not stop the video, but I mean stop playing for a sec, because I actually use my phone as a stopwatch. And I haven't charged my phone forever, so I noticed that the battery was about to die on it. And if I lose that, then I lose any way of telling me when I need to stop, and this video could literally go on for about 40 minutes to an hour without me noticing, until suddenly I think to myself, I've been doing this a long time. Down this way, we have a Jinjo, and it's the rest of the Yellow family. The Yellow family is complete. And that's it for the big fish. Let's exit. Perfect. So we've done everything we can on the sea bottom. Sort of. Hey there, big fish. Um, there is one other thing that we can do on the sea bottom, actually. But we need to be a fracking submarine. What's in here? Just eggs. Okay, I don't want eggs. It's down here, I think. Let's find out. There we go. Maybe not down here, but we can't get to the place I was going to anyway, because we don't have a... Ooh, this is actually another place I was looking for. And there is a honeycomb piece right there. That is another thing I was looking for. Geronimo! There we go. This one has nothing in it, because I just got it. This one has some gold feathers. There's a warp point. And down here is some place we can't go. Alright, how much time do we have on this episode? We got 14 minutes. Let's see, we have some lockers here. S. Malpass. D. Jones we can blow up. M. Wilson. What's over here? S. Hurst. I always wonder if these are people who actually like made the game and they're just kind of crediting themselves. It's little easter eggs. Let's get some grenade eggs here, because I'm going to be needing them in a sec. Alright, so let's go and enter Davy Jones's locker. We blew it open, and so we should go get to see inside, at least. Hey, 
Hey Banjo, I can see a Jiggy down there. Let's take a look. Lord Wu Fak Fak, the self-important anglerfish. What? Who dares intrude on Lord Wu Fak Fak while he sleeps in his appallingly cramped locker? Oh, uh, we are just uh, brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't lie to me, you are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Something like that. Then a watery grave awaits you. So, like I said in the last episode, this is my favorite boss battle. And also, something weird in this battle, if you... If I can actually do this. If you shoot the boils on his skin, there's a lot of blood that falls out. Oh, you me precious boils. Blood should not exist in an E-rated game. And for some reason, this is another thing that they mention in the rated E. And that's the existence of all this blood. Because really if it's blood, it's cartoon violence, at least. Oh, I think the other ones are on the other side. So, it's kind of weird that blood exists, but... Oh, well, whatever. Uh, anyway, he hurls lightning at you via his little light bulb that hangs on the top of him. I'm actually not going to zoom in to show that, because it's kind of hard to dodge if you're actually looking at it. So... No, don't turn. Whoa. If you touch him, you just go flying all over the place. You don't really actually take any damage, so we can run into him all we want. Let's try and hit this other foil. I think we have to go back over to the other side to hit the other one. We're almost out of grenades, so I'm actually going to go replenish my grenades before moving on to his second form, because this boss actually has two forms. The first one, you just hit the boils. Easy as that. See? Electric balls like that. See, I showed you guys. Now you can't say I didn't show you. This room is uh, naturally dark, so if you're watching this video and saying, Hey, it's too dark, turn up the light. Well, imagine how I feel. I mean, you can see this pretty easily, but I mean, like, I'm having a hard time seeing in this battle, too, so. It's one thing they could have done better, is improve the lighting of this battle. Right, and I want to go over to this side. I can kind of make out the floor, so every time I, I want to turn or anything, I have a look at the floor, and I see exactly where I am, but other than that, it's pretty hard to tell where I am. Also, Lord Wufak Fak is my favorite boss music in this game as well. Even though all the boss music in this game kind of sounds the same already. It's slightly different. There we go, I got all his boils. <laughs> then he opens his eyes. Woo! Have you no sympathy hitting a poor blind fish? Time I open my eyes to see what I'm doing. So he's got no more boils, so just hit his eye. Arr, please, not my eyes. That's what she said. Oh god. So if we're up here this close, just shoot his eyes. We have tons of health, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Oh dear. Oh good, I hit. I was afraid I missed again. There we go, one more time. So yeah, if you're this close, it doesn't matter if you're tanking. Whoa, where did I go? Oh, here I am. It doesn't matter if you're really tanking hits. Well, actually it does, because you might run out of health, but it's easy to hit his eyes from close up. Curses! Things seem to have gone belly up. 100 years of ocean tyranny brought to an undignified end. And of course he drops his jiggy, and we have the gate opened. So there we have my favorite boss battle, over and done with. Let's go 
grab some grenade eggs, because they're here. Lord Wufak Fak just kind of hangs out upside down in this place from now on. Forever alone. Where is he? Here he is. Kind of dead and dark. What does he say if he got really close? Leave me alone now. I think I need some quiet time. So, Lord Wufak Fak, he wants to be left alone. No problem. So, that'll be it for the, this episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Or Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tooie. On the next episode, we're going to be returning back to the sea bottom. Eh, sea bottom. Because we have some stuff to do. And by stuff to do, I mean we have a jiggy to get. So, I'm going to quickly return to Wumba, return to the sea floor, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. See you guys next time.